Rogers, one of the biggest questions that comes up is, you know, how, how can I save components right now? I don't have a lot of powder. I don't have a lot of bullets. I don't have time, money, whatever it is. Uh, but they want to get a new barrel or, you know, a new gun uh, put together. And they want to get it shooting as fast as possible. And so one of the things that usually comes up is, uh, what about shortcutting the system and just throwing a tuner on it and, and running with it? And uh, yeah, sure, it can be done, and I'm going to show you how, and I'm going to tell you that it gets pretty good results, but I'm going to tell you it also doesn't, you know, for like a high-level match barrel, you still need to do a proper load development. That's powder charge testing, that's seating depth, that's, you know, then doing a tuner test, and then that's repeating and repeating and repeating. And in fact, uh, I have about a 20-minute version of this that goes through not only what I'm going to show you, but then also taking this barrel back and then doing a proper seating depth test, and then another tuner test, and then thousand yard testing, uh, and that's over on my Patreon channel. But for the sake of just showing powder charge and then tuner and what can be done, here we go. So this is a brand new barrel. Uh, it had, uh, I mean, literally like maybe 20 rounds on it, if that, uh, and that was just shot. No, in fact, it had 25 rounds on it. I took it out. Uh, completely uh, brand new, just back from the gunsmith, cleaned it out, loaded 25 rounds, just sort of guessed, went out and shot it just to shoot a Tuesday night match. And then the next day I went ahead and did this. And this was just a powder test. So with 25 rounds on the barrel and then, you know, cleaned all the way back to bare metal, I ran this powder test and, and I'm actually really happy with this powder test. Uh, I know uh, we talk a lot of times, different people talk about finding a flat spot in the powder charge and whatnot, but uh, I'm actually pretty happy when I see an incline like this. For me, it actually shows a, um, traditionally this has shown a very good barrel uh, for me. But it also leaves a lot of people guessing, well, if there's no flat spot, how do you know where to load? Well, you know, there's a little bit of a flat spot on the bottom end, and I probably could have taken that note and ran with it. Uh, but... Uh, given that this was a pretty uh, consistent incline here, I went for right here at 52.4. It was just under 28 feet, 2,800 feet per second. Um, I felt like the the growth right through here was really good, and uh, you know it just made sense to me. So I went ahead and ran with 52.4, and you know if it didn't work, what's the worst that happens? I go back and do it again. But I felt pretty confident doing that. So. Uh, let's go to the next day. Now, keep in mind before I do that, uh, I'm all of one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 24 rounds. So I've shortcutted this by doing three round groups uh, for my powder test. Uh, ideally, I would do five rounds. So you've got three rounds each here. That's 24 rounds that you've, you've put out. And these are also in two tenths increments. So I'm covering a little bit wider area. So I'm sort of doing double duty with this. I'm covering a wider area looking for uh, something that would work, and I'm going uh, three-shot groups. So overall, this probably saved, if I had done this under normal conditions, I would have done tenth, uh, tenth of a grain increments, and I would have probably run it twice. Uh, so I might have done a wide test and then a narrow test and then five shots each. So that would have been probably more like 80 rounds. So, you know, I've already saved from 24 rounds to 80 rounds. So that's pretty good so far. Uh, let's go to the tuner test. Took my 52.4 grains, which you can see here. Uh, I was at a just a nominal jump of, this is right at about 19 thousandths, if I remember right. Uh, I don't measure exact, I, I get really close, but honestly, I don't really care about being exact because of how I do seating depth tests. But uh, we're just going to say this was right at about 19 thousandths jump. So I just picked an arbitrary jump number and did a tuner test at 52.4. Uh, this was also the same jump number that I did the powder test at. So you can see here with a zero tune, we were there. Then I went to four. These are all three shot groups again. Uh, three shots, three shots. Uh, and then you can see after, after we go from eight, 12 starts opening up a little. 16 gets some vertical. 12 starts opening up. Uh, or I'm sorry, I should back up here. What I did is I went to 12. It was one and then two shots. 16 opened up. So then what I wanted to do was go back and make sure this wasn't me. So I came down here and shot 12 again. And in fact, it does open up. So this sort of replicated its opening. Uh, so I felt pretty confident about that. And I said, well, I'll just go, you know, again to 20 and shoot three shots. So again, opened up. These are not great uh, groups for what I'm looking to do. 
You'll also notice that I saved components because I went four, four numbers, then four numbers, then four numbers, and you know, and so I, it only, I only expended one, two, three, uh, four, so seven, 21 rounds to do this initial tuner test. Whereas normally I would have done 36. Uh, so again, pretty good savings on that one. Now what I did is I went here and I said, okay, zero obviously was pretty open, 12 was open, so I need to hunt somewhere in this four to eight range. And this is the next target. Uh, again, 20, uh, 21 rounds. Uh, so I'm all in. I'm in for 42 rounds on this tuner test plus the 25 on my powder test and a couple blow-offs. So, uh, you know, you're, you, you'll be somewhere around 80 rounds, give or take, uh, depending on how you do this. And so I went with four because, again, if we go back, you saw four was good. And then I went to six. So now I'm going every two numbers like I normally would. And again, this isn't bad. Eight still looks pretty promising. Uh, then I went backwards to seven and it wasn't great. Nine, uh, you know, again, for being three shot groups, obviously, you know, I had two and one, but I still don't love these figure eights. Nine, uh, I did again just to verify it. And it, it seemed like it was actually a little bit better. So maybe there's something here and then 10 opened up for sure. So this sort of replicates, sorry about that, replicates what was right here. Uh, as it was opening up. So, uh, you know, this was all I did. I just said, okay, I'm going to do this test. I felt pretty confident about eight because nine tightened up at least a little bit. I know that seven wasn't great, but it was, it was at least three touching. And I decided that I would shoot eight that night. So I did this test about an hour before my 600 yard, uh, Tuesday match. And, uh, let's see how that turned out. So, uh, doing a quick powder test, a quick tuner test, expending maybe 80 rounds on a brand new barrel to get it sort of uh, up and running. Uh, here's what I've got, a 214. It's about a four and a half inch group, uh, which is a little bigger. I mean, it's it, it's a it's a good score and everything, but that's a bigger group uh, than ideally uh, would want. But uh, pretty happy with the vertical, uh, under three inch vertical. Mean radius was really tight, which is pretty impressive. Uh, I'll take a one inch mean radius at 600. That's, that's a pretty good goal. So, um, you know, I wouldn't leave it like this, you know, for me, I'm going to want to go out and verify. And like I said, I went back and did a proper, um, seating depth test and a proper tuner test again. And, it, you know, I, I expended another 80 something rounds and, and you can go watch that over on Patreon. But, uh, I will tell you that if you really want to just get up and running and make things easy on yourself, uh, you can do a simple powder test and just go out, tune your tuner a little bit. And this is, you know, kind of the results that you can end up with. So, um, you know, I think we're all trying to learn how to shoot a little differently these days. Uh, I'm not immune to this. I'm a little, you know, obviously I'm fortunate that I've been able to find powder and bullets and, you know, trust me, it's through the same channels that you guys are all having to look for, but, um, I've been able to keep doing this testing and keep making the videos and, um, you know, attend the matches and, you know, and that's what's important to me right now. So uh, I am going to go back, like I said, and, uh, you know, keep refining this and keep refining this. Uh, my goal, you know, the guys I shoot with this, this score is, you know, like a fifth or sixth place score, to be honest. Um, I really need to get, this needs to get a little tighter. I need to, to be able to buy maybe another three or four X's to be uh, up at the top of the board. Uh, and that's, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it takes, you know, to get to that 98 or 99 percent, it's pretty easy. You start getting those extra tenths of a percent to gain an X and gain an X. It, it just takes more and more work. So I got to do more testing, more practicing with this barrel. Uh, once it gets up between 200, 300 rounds, it should be pretty dialed in and uh, ready to go to uh, some big level matches. I've got uh, um, two or three state matches, a couple regionals and then uh, nationals coming up in the next five months. So it's going to be a lot of shooting and uh, it's going to take some good barrels. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching. I hope this helps you uh, figure out maybe a way to, to get your barrels up and running in a way that makes sense for you. And as always, if you have comments, let me know below. Have a good one. We'll talk later.